Hello everyone, welcome to Wingspan. Uh, I can't imagine this is going to become a long-running series, uh, but I did want to try it out, and since I was going to try it out, I thought, hey, let's do it on video. Um, on camera, I guess I usually say. Uh, it's I don't know a lot about Wingspan. It was released as a board game early 2019, and the Steam release came out a couple months ago, late 2020. Mid-2020, maybe. Um... And I know the, very little about the board game or the port, except that people generally like the board game and generally like the port. Um, I know the style of game that it is, is like it's an engine building in terms of mechanics. And it's supposed to be aesthetically very nice and thematic about birds. I don't know, we'll see. Tutorial. Take me to the tutorial. I'm a fool. Okay, I have birds. Great. So you're like, you're somehow collecting birds and... Maybe there are bird eggs involved. You breed birds? I'm not totally sure. At any rate, you collect them. I'm new to Wingspan. Yes, that's Robin, by the way. She's like a bird. Very funny, Robin. I'm a guardian of this wildlife preserve. As you probably noticed, this place is all about birds, but also about winning. To win the game, you have to get the most victory points, which are these feathers. One way to do that is by playing birds. Before we start, you should get familiar with the structure of the game, okay? This is the start your turn pop-up. Oh, here, all right. So there are four rounds and eight turns in each round, I guess. All right. Wings plant four rounds. My first turn and first round, yes. Oh, in the first round you take eight turns and the next you're taking seven and then six and five, okay. Each turn is marked by action cubes. Yeah, okay. On the right, you can see how many action how many turns are left for the round? End of round gold or end of round gold tiles, but don't worry about it. Oh man, do I have to read this? That's so small. I hope I I hope there's like a zoom or a mouse over or something for it. Now I'll show you what you can do each turn. Press no, you can tell I'm using the mouse and keyboard. First thing you need to know how to nav navigate the habitats of your preserve. I believe scroll wheel does that. I saw something on a stream a bit ago. Just to try to see. Look at the side of the screen. We're in forest now. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm meant to click here, huh? No? Oh, here. It blended in with this thing. In the forest, you can gain food. Okay. Now check out what you can do in grassland. God, I told you I'm using the mouse. All right, in grassland, you lay eggs. You're useful for playing birds. You also get a point for each egg you have left in your preserve at the end of the game. All right. Now check out Wetland. This is where you draw bird cards. Okay. For now, I already have some cards in my player setup. Are those the ones in my hand or the ones here? I'm not sure yet. Let me show the most important part of this game, birds. These are the birds in your hand. Yes. Worth two in the bush, I'm told. Ha ha, no one's ever made that joke before, I'm sure. Look closely at the Carolina Chickadee card. Okay. It's habit- oh, it's so small, but that's forest, right? It can be played only in the forest, yes. Are there any that have multiple habitat symbols? I guess we don't know yet. Oh yeah, these guys do, down here, this one, all right. Here's the Carolina Chickadee's food cost. It costs a worm? Or a feather? I'm not sure. You need to spend either a seed or an invertebrate. Uh, that was, I mean, okay, birds don't eat feathers. I could have figured that out, but okay, seed. The number next to that is its point value. Having this bird gives you this many points at the end of the game, okay? Here's its nest icon. There are five types of nests. Carolina chickadee has a cavity nest. All right. The other nest types are platform, ground, bowl, and wild. All right. Nests are used by some birds' powers, bonus cards, and in end of round goals. I see. So these are kind of like activators. There will be a card somewhere that says, for every bird you have in a cavity habitat, gain one uh, invertebrate or something, I imagine. Okay. Wild cards can be can match with any other nest type. Yeah, here's its wingspan, 20 centimeters. 
Wingspan is used by some birds' powers and bonus cards. You'll notice when you need them, sure. Here's the most important thing, the bird's special power. As you play the game, you'll see the birds have a wide variety of powers. These are what the cards kind of do. When activated, when played, and once between turns. So this is a when activated. So I guess it's like every turn, basically? Maybe? Or every round? Has a when activated power, yes. You'll learn about what that means later. Finally, at the bottom of the card, you have egg slots. This is where you lay eggs. Each bird has a limited capacity for holding eggs. Now I'll teach you how to play a bird. Great, I want to play birds. Go to the forest so you can gain food. Yes, the forest is where you gain food for the chickadee. First, you need to gain food for your bird, I agree. The panel on the right shows how much food you have. Oh, I have none of everything. All right. So what are these? There's like berries, fish, worms. What is this? A smaller bird? No, it's a rodent, like a mouse. Okay, and this is seeds. To play the chickadee, you need a worm or a seed. I know it's invertebrate. I'm going to call it a worm. You can't stop me. Look at the bird feeder here. This is the bird feeder, okay? The dice show which food is currently available. Sure. We have like two seeds, two cherries, or fruits, berries, I guess, probably generically berries. And we have one that could be a seed or a worm, okay? Yes. Leftmost exposed slot shows you how much food you can take. So it's kind of like a worker placement thing, maybe? For now, you can take only one die. In order to gain food, you need to activate this habitat. All right. The leftmost exposed slot will activate a habit. It says press A, but I legal, that's, I'm legally prohibited from doing that. I'm afraid to go into the settings because like last, when I changed the, uh, the video settings, it like the back button disappears. I have to like close the game and come back, but okay, controls. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're playing these controls. Great. Press A. I cannot do that, but I'll click here. Do I remember the die? Oh, action cubes, not dice. Okay. These will appear to mark your first turn. This cube marks the activated slot and moved from your action panel to mark the leftmost exposed slot in... The bird feeder tracker? Oh, in forest, I see. On the left, this forest icon reminds you that you activated the gain food icon. A action. All right. To choose what you want, select the die you need and press A. She still hasn't gotten with the picture. Choose a seed and press A. Please, I need... Oh, down here. By pressing Y, you will confirm your action. Well, that seems unlikely. Can you see the... Ah, the no undo symbol? All right. Means that once you do it, you can't undo. All right, so you can, you can plan actions, but eventually you commit to them. Fine. And there's some sort of undo. Maybe clicking here would return my cube. I don't know. I need a bird, so yes, I confirm. That was my first turn. Amazing. Let's start the second one. My action dice flew to the left over here? Really? It's hard to tell, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Maybe there's space for like five on each edge of this or something? I don't know. Mark that I took that action. Yes. Now I have enough food to play the chickadee. Incredible. I can play a bird. Remember, its food cost says it needs one. Yeah. Uh -huh. To play a bird, you need to cover its food cost, which means you need to pay for it. Yep. Play it by clicking on it. Now, underneath this picture, indicating this is the action I will take. All right. On the left... It's a reminder that the action I chose is the play a bird action, okay? Look at this panel, yes. This is the cost of the bird you want to play, the same cost printed on the card, yes. And this is a suggested payment, it seems reasonable to me, since I have no other choices. I will confirm this action. 
Yeah, I know. Let's go. I confirm. I played the Carolina Chickadee. Let's start the next turn. Okay. My dice went over to the left. I guess it seems really hard to see, but I'll take your word for it. Hopefully I don't need to know about that later. Next I want to play Blue Jay, but first we have to get food for it. Sure, seems reasonable. Blue Jay costs a seed and a, a pie? A wild card? Look at the Trivial Pursuit dice. Yeah, it's a wild card. Okay. Yes, anything I want. Inside are two things. Yes, I remember how to gain food. We'll activate it. Ah, my gain food action improved. Why is that? Ah, because gaining food here uses the leftmost visible thing. I was thinking that our action cube would be what covered up the leftmost thing. But actually, there's now a bird in front of what was the leftmost, and now this is the new one. So in addition to its generic abilities, just the fact of it being a bird in the forest at all makes me better at getting food. So what is it that I get from this? A die and... You can do something to get another die. Maybe discard a card? Yes. I'll get one, but you can get more. Means you can discard a card. Yeah, okay, the iconography seemed pretty natural. Seed and any food. Take the die with the... Okay, sure. Um... Here? You can choose, okay, I'll take this. Now I will also exchange a card for another die. I don't need this dang bald eagle, he's way too expensive. Let's confirm that exchange. Here? Okay, but it's still undoable if I want it. I could, I could undo it, but I won't. Now I can take one more food, yeah? Before you do that, look here. I see like two weird dice looking things. These are the dice outside of the bird feeder. There are five dice total. Each die that is taken out is marked here. While playing, you may encounter birds that use this information. Hopefully I don't need to know what side is face up on those. Now take the seed and confirm your action, which happens here. And here. The action die moved to the chickadees slot. I do see that. Why did that happen? Ah, because I've now activated this habitat and this bird lives in this habitat, so I gain a seed as well as all the other stuff I was doing, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that I activate every bird. The bird lives in this slot, okay. And when I activate the habitat, I move the die further left, activating whoever's there. Okay, this seems complicated. Uh-huh, since it's now on the chickadee, it's time for it to activate. When activated are the most common in the game. All birds with a when activated power give you an extra action when you activate the habitat that bird inhabits. All your bird powers are optional, okay, yeah. Each time you gain food, it gains one seed, right? That's a seed. It's not from the bird feeder, just like from the supply. Yeah, I get it. I will use its power... I don't know which button Y is. Do you want me to click here? No, here. Yes. No, here? Did I gain the seed? I don't see any. Did I break the tutorial? Oh, maybe that one there it says there's one thing on it. Yes. I cashed food. Every cash food is worth a point. The amount is marked there. Okay, so I can't actually use this. Well, maybe I can. But at any rate, if I don't use it, it'll be worth points at the end of the game. Play birds, lay eggs, cash food. 
Eggs play birds. You spend eggs to play birds starting from the second slot. Okay, so the first slot in each habitat is free, so we didn't have to pay any eggs. If we want to play this guy somewhere, and he lives in the forest, we would have to spend an egg, but oh no, we don't have any eggs. Am I right? Yes, there's an egg symbol, I see that. Yes, in addition to its food costs. You want to play it here, you need an egg. Go to the egg land. I forgot what this place is called already. You get eggs to lay on the birds of your choice. Leftmost exposed slot will activate a habitat. Uh-huh. Choose where you want to lay your eggs. Why do I get two? That's just because that's what it always is, okay? When you perform any of the four actions, you can switch between habitats. You need to find birds to lay eggs on, so go back to forest. This icon panel shows egg. I am activating eggs. Yes. For now, there's only one bird you can lay eggs on the chickadee. Lay two eggs. Okay. I will do that. Cool. It is done. I have placed two eggs on the chickadee. Now you have everything you need to play the blue jay. Incredible. Select it. And then press Y, which is this button here. I will pay with two seeds, the only food that I have. Okay, you want to play a bird on the second slot, so you need to pay an egg. This new panel shows you need to find and select a bird with laid eggs. I will choose the chickadee and press a button. Now confirm that I want to really play the blue jay. And we've paid all the stuff and we now have a blue jay. Okay, so both of them gain seeds when activated. This one always caches. This one says you may cache it. I assume otherwise it goes into, like, the food that I own. And now I'm really good at collecting food because I have two birds who live here. And when I, when I activate this, I would get uh, two dice. Sure. I need more cards. You are right. Let's go to the, what is this, estuary or something? Here you can draw more cards. Yes. The less most exposed slot, let's do it. You can draw a visible face up card or a face down card. Reminds you, you can't undo drawing a face down card, sure. But now, let's draw this killdeer, okay? Sure. So, why do I want this? Let's find out. Um, can I, like. Oh, look, we can read, like, flavor text. But so what does it steal? It can live here or in the egg land. It's got one point, costs one of either of these foods, and it lets me throw away eggs to draw cards. Okay, fine. At the moment I have one egg, but I kind of need it to... Well, no, because I'm not playing it in the forest, and everywhere else I don't need an egg yet. So. I kind of have an egg I don't need. All right, sure, I'll believe, I'll believe I could want this card. We're almost at the end of round one already. Gain food, yep. Okay, let's do that. You gain two things, yes. This activates the habitat. There are two birds with brown powers. I can't really tell if they have brown powers, but here I can see they do. You'll do three activations in this turn. Gain food, then activate both of their powers. Goodness, we're gonna get rich. Yes, I know. But oh no, the, fur the food I need isn't in the bird feeder. Happily, the blue jay will just create it for me out of nothing. I can reset the bird feeder? Why is that? Resetting means all the take inside and outside and re-rolling them. Reroll anytime all dice in the bird feeder show the same face. And I can't see this one, but I assume it's also a, a berry. Um, so I chose to activate it, which means I could pick one of these, but I don't want that. I want to reroll. So we rerolled automatically. Oh, okay, sure. Now we take a worm and a berry and accept. 
Now we're activating this guy, it can cash food, but you can also take the food for yourself. Oh, and it comes from the bird feeder, not from the supply, I see. So, so it can't do anything if there's nothing in the, in the bird feeder. Fortunately, there is some. Yes, I agree. You can also skip it. Take it and don't cash it. Right? Here. Yes. It's too early to be stealing points. We want engine fuel. Now you can activate the thing. Of course I will. There's like, I can't imagine. Uh, hello? Oh, I see. I could say no or yes. Got it. And then confirm. All right, we're coming up on the end of the round, right? Is that correct? Yes. I have an opponent. Oh no, my opponent. And that's me, yes. I can take a look at their habitats. I don't really care. This guy has a predator. Oh no, maybe I do care. He has an owl. Every time my opponent activates this bird in the forest, it looks at a bird from the deck. If it's small enough, put it behind this bird, otherwise throw it away. Okay. Who knows? Okay, tucked cards are worth a point. It's like caching food. Okay. Later, we'll try to use this power for our benefit. Oh, that's exciting. Finish the first round. Yes. I mean, maybe I should play with the, the controller, but it seems absurd. Now we have enough food. Yes. So it can be played either in Eggland or Drawland. We'll play it in Drawland, apparently. Yes, I do. I will pay it with worms, I guess? Sure. She seems to know what she's up to. Oh my gosh, I something happened. This is the end of the round? Some sort of scoring is occurring? Why? What happened? I had more stuff in forest than my opponent? Birds in forest, I came first. What is this icon? Brown birds with eggs? These are like end around. I assume these change every game, and that's part of the randomness. End around goals. Okay, so we get tooltips. Total number of birds in a forest. Total number of birds with a specific nest type. Ah, right, these are nest types. I forget what that. It's a bowl, right? That have at least one egg. Each bird counts just once. Star nests do count. Total number of eggs your birds have laid in this habitat in, in egg land. All the eggs count. And here, count the total number of birds. And there's like the points you get at the end of the round for being ahead. Okay. So we got four and one. This is the only thing that, that was actually applied. And that was how it was scored. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's move on. You really want me to get out my controller? Fine. I was not prepared to get out my controller. Yeah, fine, go away. Each round is a randomly chosen task, yes. Got it. You get zero. If you're like in second place, you get one, but if, you're, if you have nothing, you don't even qualify for that. Uh-huh. Round it down in case of ties. Start the next round. Yeah, I took eight turns. I know how to do things. I know what I get points for, and I have an opponent. Okay. Second round has only seven turns, yep. Close this screen. Something important about drawing cards, but I need more eggs first. 
Okay. This will activate it, yeah. Find and choose a bird to put the eggs on. Uh, this one, right? Because we get rewards for having more different eggs with... Oh, but that was only in... Um... How do I see the round goals again? I don't know, whatever. This is just a tutorial. Oh, here it is, right? With... Okay, we want, we want to make sure this guy has at least one egg. It doesn't really matter where the others go. How about there? Let's go draw some cards. Oh, the visible cards have changed. Okay. After each round, all the face-up cards... Yeah, makes sense. If you want a specific card, you should take it before the round is over. A kill deer covered the first slot. I can activate this and draw a two cards if I spend an egg for it. Yes. Let's do that. I will do this. Mm-hmm. Go find... This guy has an egg I don't much need. Two cards. Oh no, I have to make decisions now, huh? What do I have for food? I have like a berry and a seed? Well, I can't play any of these with that. But I kind of want, at some point, something that can be played in the yellow area in, in Eggland here. Oh, this, this is a cycling card. Okay. It let's you cycle cards to gain points. That's kind of nice. So let's take this one, and I guess this one. A small bird and a... well... This bird's larger, but it has, like, small points. It's like an engine. This, this card, I guess, is an early game bird, and this is more of, like, a late game bird, maybe? Because it gives you more points immediately, but less, like, value over the course of the game. And, I don't know, this guy? Sure. I wasn't prepared to make any decisions. Now activate the kill deer to draw more cards. Oh yeah, so I spent an egg to draw a card, but this guy's gonna let me spend an egg to draw two more cards. Goodness gracious. Get rid of that egg. Take the last face-up card. New face-up cards haven't been replaced yet, yep. They'll be replaced when you finish this turn. Look at the face down card. If you draw it, you won't be able to undo it. Draw it, yes. I accept. How? What am I supposed to do the bit that wouldn't be accepting? There's no other choice. If I can't undo, why is it asking me to accept? I don't know. Just for consistency, maybe? The leftmost, okay, take, we need the worm. Yeah, seems fair. And then we gain a bunch of other stuff. You can reroll stuff. Um, and I, I do need another slug to play this. Oh no, there's no slugs. But that doesn't this one of these guys give me slugs somehow? Whenever you play a bird, you can spend any two food items as if they were one of another food item. Okay. This guy doesn't cost any food. Interesting. Ah, so this is where we're gonna, like, take advantage. I see. This this is like when your opponent's predator does something good, you, you get a little food. Very cute. It's vulture. Very, very thematic. Take whatever food item you want. I don't know. We haven't had any fish in a while. Ever. 
Now take a seed. Yes, I will take the seed. And I will also get a point. I need an egg, which I do have. Ah, right. Because it, it could be played in forest, but I don't want that. We want to play it here to get better at eggs, I guess. And we can also turn food into eggs as our power this way, I guess. Notice the exclamation point next to your food payment. Means that I don't have the right food. But since I have extra food, I can I can turn some of it into the food that I want. Yes, fine. These are bonus cards. Ah, th this thing made me draw bonus cards. You can keep one, but discard the other. You'll get more points at the end of the game if you fulfill the requirements on your bonus cards. No punishment for failing to it. Look at the nest box builder. Have a better view of your cards while choosing. You can hide this interface. You can move to other habitats to decide which one is better for you. Go to forest. We will play the black vulture in forest later. So you think I should take the forest card. I wish you would get out of my face with this shit so I could read. But anyway, what are these two things I can choose? Um, birds with cavity nests, you get points for that. Or birds that can only live in the forest. We already have two and we're hoping to take a third, so this makes a lot of sense. Okay. Gain one, yes. So we haven't once between turns. Only when your opponent does something specified, yes. Only once between each of your consecutive turns. All my turns are consecutive, right? So just in between any each of my turns. Look at its food, food cost, it doesn't cost any. I can just play it here, yep, that seems fair. Pay nothing. But I do have to pay an egg, and this is the last one I still have. Now I can make use of my opponent's successful hunts with that owl. Opponent gained food and activated the owl. Yes. What? How did I... No, get out of here. Powers at once between, it didn't cost any... Oh, I get to take any die, I see, yeah. You can take one from the bird feeder. Well, I mean, I guess. Could I reroll if I wanted to? I don't know, if I could, I've lost that ability. There's no undo at the moment. I want to show you one last thing before we finish the tutorial. Go to Eggland. Yes, I know. Should I do that then? I'm... going to gain two eggs and I can turn a food into an egg if I want. Now I should press X? I don't know what button X is. Is this X? This is X, okay. Discard food to gain an egg, sure. Um, get rid of my, uh, nobody I have seems to care about berries, so let's get rid of that junk. Now I can have three eggs, and we want one here at least. Total number of eggs in, yeah, okay, so two here. And then we also wanted the last one here to maximize this thing. Okay. Here comes the end of the round, 
And you're done teaching me, right? Let's talk what you can do. I know, I know. You can play birds, gain food, lay eggs, and draw cards. You can check the... Yeah. How do I check my overall score, though? Here? It's a mystery. I don't know how to do that. Press the... Um, here? Here? Oh, this this gives me all the tooltips. That's kind of nice. Oh, just up, you click anywhere up here and you zoom in on all of these. I see. How many points you and your opponent scored? Uh-huh. And how we're doing on all the upcoming scoring. Your current total score. Yep. Okay. One final thing you can do, you can access a general overview of your habitats here. The overview displays all of your habitats and birds. You can also see which birds are available in the wetland and what food is currently inside the bird feeder. I see. So this is this is what an actual like on a real table view of wingspan would look like. Now, question, do we share the same face-up cards? Or do we have different ones? I guess these must be my face-up cards because they're on my, like, kind of mat. My opponent, I assume, has a different mat. Maybe? I don't know. You can finish the remaining rounds now if you want. I hope you will successfully attract many birds to your habitat. Good luck playing Wingspan. Um. So we could do that, but I think I'm going to kind of declare the tutorial video a success and move on to record a separate video that is like a game against an opponent. Just the just computer opponent. I don't know if there is online multiplayer. Also, yeah, interesting, there is. So online, logging in, tell me it uses my Steam credentials, right? It looks like it does. His name is unavailable. Really? No, it's not. Obviously, I'm I'm blue. And you know, if there's one thing here that looks like me, it's this guy. Uh oh, a background. I don't know. I kind of like this one. All right. So if I wanted to, I could join up and play. Cool. And it's it's all just using Steam multiplayer and not anything weird. Alright, but we're not going to enter matchmaking queue. We're just going to, in the next video, play a game against a single computer opponent. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and if you did, stick around for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.